Draw MSA. Okay, so. Yes, yeah, so I can't get a anti aliasing. So I can't really do anything to make a, this run better when there's multiple people on the screen. I am curious about something, though. I don't want to bring it down to two times native because it looks. Bleh. So, let's start up Wild Arms, and I believe we have a new introduction. Wait, is a... Uh... No, I'm still highlighting Darkest Dungeon. I want to get Game Capture, which I believe is still... PC X... Yep. Excellent. So... Let us load the arms that are wild. Now let's see if we have a new anime intro for us. Yes, please load, damn it. Man, we haven't done we haven't done horse riding in a while, and I already miss it. That makes me sad. Yeah, I told you it doesn't come up much. Also, hi. Hey, Did welcome you back. Ready for anime. I'm ready for anime. As I recall, since it has been a few days, we last ended off with Siegfried fusing with a dragon and fucking up and getting exploded. Yeah, we shot we shot him with a moonstone cannon twice, and he fucking dead. Yep. Well, now it's time to go back to the Bastard Colony. Oh, hey, the uh, the Schrodingers get their little time in the spotlight in the intro. Yes, they do. Also, eight-year-old girl that looks very evil. Yeah, that'd be strange if that was, like, an antagonist or something. Yeah, bizarre, isn't it? I still can't get over how good the character designs are in this game. Like, man, I... Except for Jeff. Yeah, Jeff is an exception, but even then he still has some cool stuff to him, like well, that Serape. The thing is that Jeff Jeff is supposed to be fucking Jeff. That That's why he looks like that. He's a deconstruction of being an edgy anime boy. Oh, wow. We just straight up go to Baskar Colony, you know, uh... <laughs> yeah. Why would they make you fly there? I don't know. You also see the flaw of me trying to fuck with settings and that running this game at three times resolution chugs a little bit when there are more than eight people on the screen. Speaking of, Jeff is off sitting by himself like a jackass. Yep. Also, look at this sick dance. What a badass. Also, Gallows can play guitar. Yeah, we know that because of his, uh, doll. A doll is not a guitar. Yeah, but he plays it. He plays a guitar while w using the, uh... The fucking was it a Fraser doll? Kramer doll. Kramer, Kramer doll. dolls. Fraser dolls. I don't know. Oh, uh, we have not started Telepath Tower yet. The incredibly smart dolls that you have to be also smart to understand how to use. Also, the Telepath Tower side quest is kind of annoying. Oh man! You can do it if you want to. This game is chugging to the point where Discord is dying. I think maybe adding some of the things I added a while ago might have fucked it. We'll see later on. Oh, it's the weird lighting, because now it's just fine.
I don't quite see how Virginia's the star of the party. It seems like everybody contributed equally to the success of the operation. Well, she's the leader. She leads, therefore she gets top billing. That's true. Uh, who is Shane again? Gallo's brother looks like a chick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, we have not seen any of him. Oh, yeah. Is this Virginia drunk? This is Virginia drunk, yes. I can't believe she's a mopey drunk. I can't believe that she has three frames of animation for being on Lombardia, but not one frame for being drunk. <laughs> Jeff, are you just like... That is not anywhere like... You look like a fucking board on a wall. That's because the wall is sloped. Yeah, but Shane looks more organic in his relaxation rather than Jeff, who just kind of plopped himself on the side. That's because he's Jeff. Jeff's kind of annoying. Even his re even his relaxation stance is annoying. That's incredible. What do you mean you're not qualified? Time, time for some wisdom from Jeff. What do you mean, not qualified to save the human race? You just deleted a fucking demon. He deleted the Jeff hole. Yo, let me tell you something, Shane. Div Divination wizards are the bane of every uh, dungeon master ever. So you're you're pretty much doing a lot of work, dude. Shane, you're you're important. You're a reference to another character from a different Wild Arms game for the most part. And that one was important. Two? Yes, it was two. Yeah, I feel like I If feel... you don't know what it is, it's probably two, Highway. Yeah, I was gonna say. I feel like I've missed a lot by not playing two before this. Not really. Uh, all this is referential stuff. Like there's no continuity, but there's I'm still missing a lot of the cheeky references. Actually there is continuity, it's just all very subtle. Hmm. I mean, 1, 2, and 3 do take place in order. Hmm. They're just several hundred years apart, I believe. Virginia has to suffer through her father's existence during the Grand Quest so she gets extra recognition. Wow, harsh. I was looking over footage when I was doing highlights for uh, YouTube uploading, and man, I got fucking furious when, uh, when Warner saved the day out of fucking nowhere several times. Yes, you did. It was great. When you just got fed up with Werner's bullshit. Yeah, I really was mad. It also helped that there was no one in the house, so I was just free to fucking explode. Ah, oh, Werner, oh, he's so anime. Oh. And Shane really wants to be a party member. It's too bad we don't have additional party members. I know, right? It'd be fine if you were in a Suikoden game. Yeah. Suikoden has so many fucking characters. Hell, when you think about it, Wild Arms 2 had six characters. He'd fit in just fine there. Yeah. Uh, Ultra Code Hef had three, but you get three extra. Yeah, that that's six. Oh, yeah. Duh. Hello, I'm smart. Did you just, like, r what? Hello, dream child from my nightmares. Those two tend to be kind of synonymous. Also, she's fucking floating. It's always refreshing to see Virginia very cheerful. Well, yeah, she's drunk. Oh, that's, tr that's true. Oh yeah, she is pretty bombed. Were you mad with... No, Werner, the, the character. The guy who just decided, Oh no, my daughter is in trouble. I'm going to deploy the Deus Ex Machina shield to protect her. Also, do you like the sudden... She's like suddenly going, I'll protect the planet! After we beat up the bad guy. 
good, good timing, Shane. You probably could have done this like an hour ago and you'd be in the right time place too. But we don't actually have any antagonists anymore. I mean, I'm pretty sure creepy Sadako knockoff is the enemy, but... Hey, we don't have... At this, at this particular moment, we don't have any antagonists. We beat up Siegfried, and all the prophets kind of fucking died on their own. Yes. Janus went and fucked off being a fisherman. Yeah, I'm just being a filthy metagamer. I'm sorry. It is a pretty bad planet. Can't they just leave? Well... I don't think this place has space technology, and if it did, we just exploded it. You probably could take Lombardi into space. Yeah, but it'll take a nap halfway through, and then it'll have problems. What? Isn't Lombardi- yeah, he wants to sleep. The secret key passed down from the priesthood is missing. Secret key? How come I don't know about it? Because it's a secret, Gallows. No, it's not because it's a secret, it's because Gallows is a shitty priest. Usually, if there's anything Vasca related Gallows doesn't know about, it's because you're a shitty priest, Gallows. Hydra to act as the Pillar's Guard. Interesting. Oh boy! Shane, Shane is the party member that attacks with a Hydra. Sanctuary to the North, known as the Sacrif- Oh, that's comforting. Yeah, he's going to go there to help out his brother by sacrificing himself, apparently. Ugh. Gallus is a good brother. He tries. I mean, he's bad at a lot of other things, like being a priest. I know, but he's still a good brother. He's very caring for his brother. Maybe, maybe the real good guys are the player characters instead of Shane. Thanks, who, Hallie. Who could have Fucking guessed? Thanks, Hallie. <laughs> Perhaps the real fighters are in the hands of the people who are like level 50 and have a jet dragon. Uh, let's see if I can do any personal skills. Yeah, there's a spaceship, you're right. The spaceship is just, you know, the head of a cult. This is walking in a positive direction. Or restore HP to FP level. I think I might have to do focus because uh, status effects are kind of bullshit. Focus is really good. What does Jeff have? Jeff has. Uh, l let me please point out that focus blocks out auto automatic death, so it's worth putting points into. Ah, good to know. It 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 blocks anything that does not wear off at the end of that does wear off at the end of a fight. Uh, fallen, while well, it does make you dead, and that doesn't wear off, the Fallen effect itself does wear off immediately afterwards. I'm so just gonna make Clive a crit storm, if you don't mind. Feel free to. I was doing something with Virginia, but I forgot what. I think, uh... In fact, he... I will tell you that one of the Millennium Puzzles, if you want to do another one, it gives you an item that gives you just a critical boost. Mmm. Mmm. Why do you tempt me like a snake with an apple? I just got done watching that fourth episode you uploaded. I'm all about it right now. <laughs> I enjoyed that immensely. Of course you did. How'd you like the little special effect I added in? That was really good. This is a good over the course. That was the uh, laughter from the migrant seal puzzle slowed down to like 33%. <laughs> That's good stuff. It said uh, sacrificial arts are to the north, right? They didn't say how far north, did they? I think it's on the same green chunk of land. Yeah, so I just have, like, this vista to look at. I mean, you can always just go scan things. Let me go look at where it is, precisely. Yeah, there was a YouTube comment where somebody mentioned they would like the uh, this game more if the overworld wasn't just, you know whack-a-mole with the scanner, and it's kind of something I agree with. I think it has good and bad points. There we I go. I don't like that you have to find fucking dungeons that way, but at the same time, that's kind of how they keep you from going ahead of where you need to go. But I feel like they could do better if some things were on the fucking map to begin with, like towns. There's no reason you should be left out of a town. Are we gonna get more guardians? 
Oh, I guess not. No, it's not a guardian. It's just bullshit. It's the we planets. Don't any, we don't have any more room for guardians. Ooh, this music is a little worrying. Our new enemies are Eel Volk and a gargoyle. That's that's not a gargoyle, dude. That is like the exact opposite of a gargoyle. I mean, it's it's a it's a Phil Guy and gargoyle. Phil gargoyle. Let's uh, let's analyze one of these boys. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Damn it. Those insta skill things never work. It's so frustrating. So what was the last dungeon Wang did? Uh What was it? Sutton of the Metal God? Deus Ex Machina. That's right, that's right. The literal thing I was bitching about halfway through the episode. Oh yeah, it was Cradle of the Metal God that linked into Deus Ex Machina. God, Jeff is da Jeff's damage has gone pretty high. <laughs> Stas. Speaking of, at some point you can probably start upgrading your arms. Oh shit, do we have enough money? I haven't even checked that. Have we spent money on much of anything in the past, like, two chapters? No, we went a good four hours without buying a damn thing. I don't think the game locks you anything out of anything, King, but it's not like Telepath Tower is even that good anyway. I think the reward for Telepath Tower is an EX file key, and also some enemies you can grind on that are really annoying to fight. But that's really about it. And I'll tell you right now, as much as I would like the idea of him getting all 15 keys, I'm probably just going to make him get two keys, and I think he already has two keys. No, I only have one. You're going to get two by the time we're done here. Let's see. He did unlock it, I just, I thought it was dumb, so I had to make him do it. And I mean, even if he doesn't, I did make him start some stuff that does give EX file keys already. Got five EC in to cancel a fight here. Hmm. You want to go get more migrant seals? <laughs> Maybe before I attempt uh, fucking the abyss, because I'm pretty sure the last. No, stream no. Before, if you want to go in the abyss, I'm making you get twenty before you go. You're gonna thank me if that. Yeah, I was gonna say like, I'm thinking like once we beat the game, I'm gonna make the effort to try and fight Ragu Ragula because I've never fought him. It's worth it. He's fun. Why is there a single fire here? This is mighty suspicious. Okay, I can't really do anything with it. Never mind. Let's see. Are we gonna fight a boss if we duplicate this door? We probably are. No. Interesting. Mini carrot and growth egg. Wait, hang on a second, I have EXP stuff to dole out. Time to give people who aren't Jeff bags. I think uh Jeff and Clive have the uh Good summons. We'll give them eggs. The 
Phoenix wings act as your guide. Extinguish all the flames and let them be. The flames will eventually lead you. Extinguish all the flames and let them be the flames will... There we go. I've always wondered, with segments like these, if you already know the, uh, sequence, will you be able to, like, just skip the puzzle entirely? I mean, maybe. Like, I know there was another thing I played recently that had something similar, and I've always wondered if, uh, that's the case. Forgetting to not cancel the green exclamation points. Oh, what is this music? That's a creepy portrait for Shane. Real talk. He's just all spooked and messed up and. All of this is his fault. Pretty much. He wants the power to fight. To fight what? There's nothing for you to fight. What are you talking about, Shane? We beat up Siegfried already. He's dead. This would have been a cool point to put in between the situation with Maya, quite frankly. I mean, there, there's nobody left you might want to fight except maybe Maya, and that's just because she's a jerk. No one else is threatening the planet anymore. All the prophets are dead. Siegfried is also dead. Janus really wasn't an issue, but he's oh, dead too. Oh no, Shane has a complex. Yeah, he does, but he has a complex a little too late. Yeah. Uh, level grinding really isn't that annoying. We haven't had much of an issue of level grinding, but part of that's because I made Highwing do some side stuff. Though, even if he did, um... He can get away with doing a lot of uh, in-game stuff without leveling too much. Yeah, using a Gela card is a great way to, you know, not have to grind. Or not, an EXP card. card, thank you. Speaking of, do I have any? So, no. in, order, in order to help protect his brother, he's going to fight his brother. In order to protect your brother, I'm going to summon a fucking Hydra. God damn it, Shane. I never know what I want to do with Jeff. Like, even with the situation I'm currently in, I'm just like, well, what do I do with you, Jeff? God, extension hyper so fucking busted. Now here's the real question, do I have to keep applying fire to- Gallus, did you just parry a fucking Hydra? And yeah, this Hydra looks really goofy. You guys aren't... wrong. EX keys are... things you get from doing side quests mostly. And uh, having a certain amount of them at the end of the game gives you certain options, but only one of them really matters and it's worth two keys. Granted, there are a total of 15, and to use get all of the options, it takes 15 keys. We'll discuss them when he beats the game. But only one of them is really worth it, and it's, it's only two keys. So I'm only going to make him get two keys unless he wants to go get more anyway. Where are you getting the half Jeff from?
Oh man, we can't weaken him. That's kind of a shocker, actually. Maelstrom. I think I've seen this attack. Oh no, Shane, why, why would you flush your little brother? What's wrong with you? I also like this Dutch angle. I don't know if we have to keep applying fire, so let's see what happens if I don't apply fire. So what's going to happen if we shoot a Hydra? Because, um, I don't know if bullets can cut off heads. Enough bullets can. I mean, naturally. But, like... What if we just shoot the body? Well, then you shoot it. You put holes in it. Put enough holes in it, and it'll be dead. Hmm? Or just crush it, you know, with a big fucking rock. Oh no! Why would you flush your dear brother, Shane? Please stop! Wait, did we just, like, neutralize the damage? Oh no, right, we have that, uh, barrier. I forgot about that. Clive's doing four, double or four. Well, Clive is not only hyped up, he's also weakened the boss. Ooh. Condition. Oh no! Damn it. I so, do uh, I gotta keep they, applying fire. Did you did you hear what they said fire weakens it? Yeah. I thought it was like a one time thing though, but I have to keep doing now, it. Now here's what it works, so I'll let you know. Um its heal will heal it to full. The more you burn it, the less its heal will heal for. It. Oh, okay, so we've kind of burned a lot of it. Yeah, keep burning it. Here, take this Never ruby. Stop burning it. So what was once 2,000 is now... I couldn't tell. I think our uh, Hyper also yeah. just wore off. I can't tell how there's weird angling. Uh, Gala's extension... Hyper. Within the area of 1,500? Okay. Fifteen hundred becomes six hundred, so we're gonna eventually just own its ass. Keep wasting your actions on heals, this is great. They're just gonna annihilate you. Lock on Clive, Gatling Jeff, Gallows needs to reload. Damn, that was like somewhere around the range of 2800? So now that he's healing for nothing, I don't have to fire him anymore? I mean, probably not. Remember, it's damn it, Shane. 
pretty much. Like, you summon ultimate power, but even then, it didn't really do anything, bro. You're literally wasting everyone's time for nothing, Shane! Whoa, this arena looks a little goofy. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have to uh, keep applying fire. Though I do have to punch through its gross amount of HP. There we go. Shane, we killed your power. Though I'm pretty sure we also killed part of Phil Gaia, and we got a Mega Berry, ooh. So, guess where we're going next. Wait, where'd Shane go? The garden, I assume? Yes. Mega Berries are the next step of your healing items. That's 5,000. It's essentially full. We have to keep going down, or? Ooh, hello. That certainly looks like a bomb wall. That certainly looks like a mimic. Oh my god, there's four of them. Excellent. He was just living back here, man. He just they, wanted just to back in. He just wanted to party, y'all. Just had to break in. I mean, we would have invited you and your freaky Godzilla. Wow, that actually killed them kind of quickly. Got a talisman. A potion berry and... A lucky card. Would have been nice a while ago. Talisman is... Increases the chance of reviving from- ooh, wow. That sounds busted as hell. Guess who that's going on. Probably Virginia or Jeff. Virginia. So when they say Fallen, does that mean zero HP or just the anything that uses Instagib? Um, I want to say it's zero HP in general. Although Fallen is the Instagib effect, I think that that personal skill in particular just lets you get back up when you fall down sometimes. Resurrection is... wow. It takes 16 personal skill points to upgrade that. Jesus. Yeah, that's a lot. We need that... we need those points for Kung Fu. What the fuck did the disease do again? I feel like I don't need that status effect. Oh well, I'll just start putting it in uh, Resurrection for now. Even though it's only like one point! Why is chat talking about birds? Oh! The new Darkest Dungeon event, yeah. There's a very naughty bird there. It's a bit of a dick. I've yet to see it, but I thought I thought the uh, thing was when you full wipe you have that quest, but apparently it's just a uh, entirely random event. The white breath shall vanquish the darkness and expose the path. So, what? Oh man, this is like that thing in uh, Enter the Gungeon. And a lot of games like it. This is a common puzzle. Mm -hmm. It's also an excuse to spin around with the freezer doll. Pretty much. Which is nice because the game knows that it's fun to do that. Well, that was a fun Indiana Jones reference. But not really. Again? Are we gonna fight another one, Shane? Maybe. 
With the pillar as my fate, I must devote my life to the guy and die. Why are you trying to interfere from me killing myself? I'm gonna protect you by making you fight this Hydra again, brother. Oh god, this is almost as bad as the fucking... Wait, is this thing absorbing fire now, or...? Shane Dunn goofed twice. Do I have to still burninate this thing, or...? It is a larger, redder Hydra. Still have to burn it, then. Good. Um, so... Yeah, no, it's, uh... It's, uh, weak to ice. Oh. That changes things. Quick, Jeff. Cool it down with your cold shoulder. Also, as you may have noted, by the fact that it looks like a big lobster, it does a lot of fire damage. Ow! What? Oh, by the way, it counters all ice attacks with that. Shit. That was a good way to open this. The weakness is a trap. Does it still have the regeneration effect? No. Good. At least I don't think it does. I mean, if it did, you'd have to hit its weakness, and then you'd get burnt in the face each time. And yeah. Oh. Look on the bright side. Jeff is immune to the fire. Ow. Also, the flaming zone makes it do more damage. Yeah, I noticed. Holy shit. Mystic. Potion berry. God, we only have we only have so many ice berries or ice gems. Yeah, why don't we just use the freezer doll in this fight as we slow the fuck down? Yo, remember when we, uh... Remember when Water Zone appeared and we, uh... We had slowdown due to a combo of particle effects? And it's happening again! So this boss fight might take a little bit longer than normal? Maybe a little. You could always just use martial arts. I could actually, huh? No, Lord Tyrion, you weren't here last stream when we had to fight the fucking three wise men three times in a row. That was fucking stupid. And I feel like we're gonna be doing that again real soon. Ah, oh, motherfucker, do I not have carrots? Great. Synchronizer, synchronized target. Uh... Yeah, something tells me we're going to be fighting a wind hydra soon. He will, its name is Tiamat. That would not surprise me, even though that's not really what Tiamat is. Oh, balls. This is gonna hurt. Look at it slowly erupts! <laughs> Look at my JPEG! Yeah, it's a good thing I updated the uh, archives too, because man, uh, one of the streams was in danger of being forgotten. That would have been really bad. On the bright side, uh, there's no way you can lose this fight because Jeff is immune to every damage it does. Quote-unquote bright side. I am curious about something, though. Eat the fruit, Virginia! It's 
if I attack him with a weakness I give him, will you go ape shit? No. He will indeed go ape shit. Oh, please survive this gallows. I mean, you could just have Jeff do all of the weakness damage since it's not like fire hurts Jeff anyway. Yeah. Also, I guess, I think Clive is immune too. Yeah, he is actually. Yeah, why don't you just attach like an ice element to Clive's attacks? I think Clive could only attach ice element, or can only attach elements that he has on his guardian person. Yeah, but, I mean, why don't you make him weak to one of the elements that he has on his person instead? Jeff can only make elements, uh, enemies weak to elements he has equipped. So Jeff I can mean, only you make... Can, you can, I'd say you can swap personal skills and mediums around mid-fight if you want to. Yeah, but that takes time. Well, fine, if you want to be lazy, just use martial arts. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to build up to. Are you still out of carrots? Yeah, I haven't gone to the garden in a while. I'm kind of glad that I teach you about how busted martial arts are, and then you can just never use them. It's almost poetic, isn't it? A little bit. Yeah, I think the I think the magic does more damage than Jeff's gun can, so. Now if I have full FP on Jeff, does magic damage also get increased? Good question. I don't know. I assume that it's all damage. Yeah, I think I'm gonna shoot with Jeff for a little bit to uh, increase damage output. I got a distinct feeling that we're about to see a uh, volcano trap. The big issue wasn't with the uh, carrots is that they take a long fucking time to grow. So when I go and pick them up I get like two and then I use them on the next two bosses. Well I mean yeah they kind of bust the game. Yeah, that's true. God, Virginia's damage has just tapered off so heavily. Yeah, that's true. It's hard to tell sometimes because there's a lot lost in, uh, just having text for conversations. Also, I'm a little focused on this, uh, dreadfully slow fight. I mean, you can make it easy, but I'm having fun watching you just kind of flounder about. Yeah, I could Kung Fu, but that takes a while to build up. Plus, I kind of need to Mystic Heal. Actually, I don't really need a Mystic Heal Berry, do I? No. I don't know if Virginia can survive another attack, but I know Gallows can. You can just use the potion berry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Virginia's dead. As the slow polygon rises from the ashes. Oh, wow, Virginia's alive. Also, I'm pretty sure, because of how I have this game scale up to like three times uh, scaling, if you zoom in on Gallows' face just enough, you can see a seam in the uh, polygon. And it's kind of hilarious. Uh, it's only a PS2, it'll be okay. I know. I just found it amusing that we managed to hit that territory of uh, upscaling. Oh, 
Oh good, fucking fire zone is gone. This fight could be slightly faster. Oh, never mind. That that ship sh that ship sailed rather quickly. I mean, of course he's gonna recast it if it's not there. It's just it's what he that. does, yeah. What the hell was that camera angle? Oh, <laughs> wow, that was one hell of a slowdown. Extension Hyper. Alright, so we have Condition Green on, uh... Oh my goodness! How the hell are you still alive, Gallows? Oh, this is gonna be good. So before, um, the damage output on Jeff through magic was roughly 1,000? We'll see how that changes. Can't believe you're making Jeff the MVP over the fight. Look, situations withstanding, shit's gotten weird. What can I do with Gallows? I guess Gallows could just shoot a man. Oh, it does affect magic damage. This is relevant. Wow, that damage is flat out not bad, somehow. <laughs> Just no provocation, Salamander Burn on Jeff again. That's so silly. How much HP does this guy have? Though an interesting note, the uh, usual effect of people running around surrounding the area. Not exactly an effect here just because this boss is just kind of firmly stapled in place. We must burn the Jeff. But it's immune to fire. Burn the Jeff! Ow! Holy sh- Oh! What? Okay. Good shit, Virginia. Why'd you put FP plus on Jeff? It just kind of happened. You know, that's why he's like five levels higher than everyone else, right? Yeah. Um, a thought. Should have done this ages ago. Uh, sadly, Gallows does not have Fire Ward. But I could give it to him, I believe. Seal. 
Skill on Gallows. Reset. Let's reset Depression. Bringer of Fire and also Depression. Ah. Alright, let's fucking clown this fool. I should have done this ages ago, but I didn't think that uh, Virginia might have fire resistance. Really should have done this ages ago. God, there's gonna be so much fucking EXP at the end of this fight just because of fire immunity. All of Jeff's experience. Oh, it died. Sweet. Did you remember to use an EXP card? Yes. That was like the first thing I did. Oh my god, Jeff has five times EXP! Maybe you should give FP Plus to someone else. Maybe. I shall continue to summon as many times as it takes. Did you know you can grind levels off of Shane? Also, good job, Shane. You're you're literally being a detriment now. And then Gallows says, "Stop being such a little wiener." Ah, uh. the dream child told me to ruin absolutely everything. So welcome to like the last bit of character development Gallows gets, where he turns out to be a good brother. That's always been the case, but you get more of it. What? The Surge of Gaia will soon be let loose. The agreement uh, probably involves sacrifice. Surge of Gaia is a thing now. Uh, don't. Shane. No. What if I sacrifice myself? Whoops. See, I like what Gallus says here. He goes. You fucking idiot, you have no idea, you've never left town, you stupid idiot. You have oh, no idea shit. what it means to love the planet, you never leave your house, you fucking goon. <laughs> Stop talking out of your ass. Why is Gallows the best character in this game? I'm not saying that like a bad thing, but wow, I did not expect this. This whole chapter is about people talking about memories, by the way. I figured as much. That's this game's big hot button. Thought it was wings. No, that that's just Virginia's. And uh Warner's. Warner only does it because he knows Victoria does it. Damn, Gallows, you're a badass. We're ready to get more Werner in this chapter. More Werner time. Gallows, you're the biggest doof. You're the best. Maybe. Gallows doesn't know what he's talking about. He really doesn't, but it's charming, at least. Max Charisma Zero Wisdom. With the power of Brotherhood, we can do anything. Hi, Werner.
when it shows up and just like not on machines. Oh, he's acting like a dad. Surprising. Why the fuck are we out here, dad? Uh, what? Who turned off the let hi? <laughs> yeah, that that's out for a reason. Beatrice. That's her name. His wish. Well, I think we figured out who the Nightmare AI is. Yeah, a world where I can live. That's all it is. And then she fades into static. So let me take the plot, uh, Kalsko. We resolved the plot last stream. We killed Siegfried. Then everyone went back to Baskar Village and Virginia got drunk. Uh, now Shane Dunn fucked up and there's a dream demon being an asshole. Uh, they re they mentioned this a while ago. Well, the last antagonist did. They mentioned a rogue AI scouring through the information network on the demon hard drive. And that rogue AI is apparently becoming a lot more public. Because now... Yeah, well, there's a reason she's becoming public now. You got rid of her competition. Ah. She... Because I remember somebody mentioning that you see a lot of her in the background of the game. So she was basically, you know... That was me. Yeah. She was basically plotting in the background, and now that every other antagonist is dead, she's like, Well, shit, I'm here now. No, she was kind of banking on it, actually. Huh. Uh, she was... I mean, she'll discuss it when that point. Yeah, I'd imagine all her prophecy, All the prophecies... Ugh, fuck. All as, as you are saying, yes. All of Shane's prophetic dreams are actually because of Beatrice. See, here's the thing the game kind of tells you. Beatrice exists in a sea of electric impulses, right? Mm hmm Now, one, the internet is a sea of electric impulses. Beatrice is the internet. Uh, two, your mind is a sea of electric impulses. The world of dreams is also the internet because they're made up of the same thing. Wow, this is getting a fucking ass pull. It kind of is a little... What do you mean, Werner, or this chapter in general? The plot summary you just kind of gave? It's a little bit of an ass pull. Four is not so good as the other three, but it's still not bad. The Dream Demon. It's kind of the internet trying to kill you, yes. Oh god, I can't believe we're a part of Indigo Prophecy. A little bit. Uh, in the end, it all boils down to the wisdom of Yadis being even more of a piece of shit than ever. Why didn't Werner just wipe that hard drive off the face of the planet? Yeah, that'd be really, that'd be a good idea. It's gonna become a plot point later, so, by the way. So, <laughs> here's the thing, if we just never dream, she can't do anything. So let's just start mass producing caffeine and never sleep. It's perfect. It's bulletproof. <laughs> well, I mean, there's also the option to just go and plug the Hyades modem. That too. The Blue Menace. You know, we still have a golem to worry about. I got a feeling that's going to be put into play here. Oh, why would that be an issue? Oh, I don't know, because a golem is entirely a robot, and you could just put the internet in a robot so the robot can manipulate the world to her will- to her fitting. I mean, he is an impregnable fortress, though. She can't get in. He's Asgard. Also, his masters are dead, so he doesn't really have anyone to follow anymore. You killed them all. Yes, Warner, do the right thing. Stop the Hyades. Huh. 
Unplug the modem. Oh wow, Clive, you're a... That's a slight plot point I didn't expect. Yeah, um, see, yeah, as you well know, Clive is kind of a nerd. And he kind of wants to keep the Wisdom Fiatis around because, really, that's the closest we've come to unfucking the planet. It's It makes sense, but it's also the idea of, we have, we have Satan in a hard drive and you want to keep it around. Well, on one hand, he wants to unfuck the planet. On the other hand, so far everyone who's touched that fucking thing has been incredibly stupid and or fucked up. And now we have a white pillar? Yeah. Uh, nice JPEG. If in the southeast near the peninsula, it's an evil force like the demons, but far greater. It's like a demon, but more. It's like demon plus one. What? What the fuck is this line, Werner? How dauntless of you are. No. You no longer have to hide in the darkness of people's hearts. Yeah, that's kind of a plot point, too. So, we were at that for a good hour. I think we need a five minute break because I have to use the restroom. So, be That's right fun. back. And yes, as Naren says, the demons are sci fi ish. They are humans who were just uh, hopped up on nano machines and came to fuck up other planets. The demons are actually like Earth humans instead of Phil Gaia people. And yeah, there's a lot of plot points to Beatrice, and uh, it actually does make a pretty good chunk of sense in my opinion, even though it feels tacked on. But I don't want to spoil too much of what she's about. I've, give, I've given a good chunk of the plot already. Uh, she's pretty much a rogue AI inside the big modem that is Yachty's. And since everyone else was kind of getting in her way, she just waited for you to kill everybody else and then started, suddenly started coming out and doing stuff. Yeah, Hyades is another planet. Um, the wisdom of Hyades is what we talk about, which is uh, that planet had a big like information library, and it got stuck on Philgaia at some point. The information library they refer to as Hyades. It's the internet. Janice is dead, yo. Wow, I almost, uh, I almost caused a cascade of bullshit after knocking over my headphones that were conveniently over the soda I was drinking. Maybe I should oh cons dear. Maybe I should reconsider things because, man, if that went any other direction, I'd be fucking furious. But everything's safe now. Everything's fine. So let's, uh, let's continue the... Why am I not? There we go.
Wait a minute. We never did do something here. Hang on a second. No, no, don't throw the boomerang, Jeff. I just had an epiphany. That's what I thought. So, that chicken is scannable. And we haven't been able to do anything before with it until... Here we go. That chicken was a full carrot. Holy shit, we just murdered a foul... We just murdered an avian bee. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, the change crest can turn some animals into loot. Also, Dark Loco, who is apparently animal. Hey, dragon, what's up? Uh, what did they say? Southwest Peninsula? Something like that. Yeah, Romeo and Dario died, like, well in the middle of Act 1. Romeo and Dario died, like, at the beginning, at the end of the first chapter, pretty much. Actually, they didn't die, but, you know, you don't see him again. It looked like the beam was, like, in a desert area. But I don't... I'm hoping to find some visual input, but I don't even see any. I'm gonna go back to, uh... I'm gonna go back to Baskar Colony and see if they remind me. Because, man, I... I just completely forgot. Oh yeah, Garden is a thing we gotta do, too. Because there's also a bird there that I could convert into stuff. My grandma was Shane. Southeast. The first Atelier Iris game where you could have spells that turn enemies into candy. I remember that game. Fond memories. But then the second one came out and then it swiftly became unfond memories. And now the Atelier Iris games got hella anime. Food, please. One carrot. Actually, hang on a second. Sweet. Now, which one of you was the thing I had to convert? The one animal in the area, of course. You became Am Ambrosia. What? Cures all status ailments and fully restores HP. Wow, that's pretty. That's pretty rad. I should look at my uh, equipment because I have a lot of accessories that I could just straight up put on people. It's just an elixir. Yeah. Also, we still have the oh, teardrop. If only, you, if only it gave you full FP too. Yeah, I guess I guess we do saw the teardrop. That never really comes up again, I don't think. How inconvenient. So did you get your Kung Fu carrots? I got one. Yeah. <laughs> Better make that fucker count. Baskar Colony. And I believe they said southeast. I'm not quite sure where southeast is the issue. I may have to ask the old woman again because I have the memory of a goldfish. Yeah. Uh, little Beatrice has been showing up for a long time in the game. Actually, you just never noticed her beforehand. I, mean, I think the first time you noticed her was her giggling before it, uh, you got killed by Humbaba. I think so, yeah, actually. I think that's it was the first time you that's the first time you noticed her, I know. Um, but she's actually seen as early as uh when Janice is with Dario and Romero. Interesting. 
Uh, she shows up in, uh, what was his name, a Jolly Roger, like right beside some chipping crates in the cutscene when he's talking to you. Hmm. Man, I gotta look at the fucking footage then. Yep. Yeah, we were told southeast, we just don't know how far southeast. So, man, do we have a hunt. I mean, we'll, we'll go find out where it is then. Hold on. I feel like if we had a visual input, it'd be a lot easier, but we don't. Okay, it just it's southeast of the colony on a peninsula. South east of the colony on a peninsula, so up here? Look, I, I got a C minus in geography. I don't know what the fuck a peninsula, a plateau is. Just, just keep going southeast a bit. I think I see it. Yeah, just, okay. Now go south because you're going to a different continent now. Yeah, you you went. Just, just go south from where you are. I mean, I know I'm on stream delay, but still. So... You know what a peninsula is, right? N actually, no. It's a chunk of land stick- it's Florida! You're on a different continent now, head south. Go, go to the one with Jolly Roger on it, dude. This is painful, highway. That's wait. What the fuck? Yeah, you're like right there, dude. It's go go back to the bridge where you crossed to Jolly Roger. Yeah, you should you just ran right past the peninsula there, dude. I see it. See the little bridge? Just go to your right from the bridge and check out there. Big chunk of land just sticking out into the sand over there. Oh, I see. Wait, that wasn't there before? No. Weird. Look. I, uh, you're killing me, Wayne. You're fucking killing me, dude. I'm not seeing what you guys are seeing. Check the peninsula further. You just like scanned one section once, then flew off. Go look around. Go to the chunk of greenish land over there, like right outside the bridge from Jolly Roger, and just 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 check the check the area out there. You're on an island in front of the peninsula. Okay, there we go. My God, Highway. Like it didn't help that I kind of glazed over the cutscene and forgot the directions. I feel like you're glazed over more ways than one right now. Oh man, we uh. Also, welcome to the meat fort. Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't this like the same design that you see in Alien? I forget the name, the name of the artist who did that. Geiger. Geiger, thank you. Demon door pillar. Oh, hmm, cute. It's a door for demons. Um, what the hell's my button for swapping characters? There we go. Biomechanoids.
I got a feeling this is not what the game wants me to do. But I sure as hell can't aim precisely. Actually, it is what they want you to do. Learn to blind aim. This might be a stopgap for all the wrong reasons, because, um... People told me that I could aim via, uh, what's it called? Right control stick. The only issue is, um... With the way this steam pad works, I really can't. So I don't know if I could do this unless I do some configurations to the emulator. Like, was there a precision turning in uh, this game, or was it all was it eight directional? It's like eight directional fire, dude. You, you're not gonna have to angle it like that. You're fine. Just get like to the very corner of the stairs and throw it. Okay, because I could. S I was thinking it might be uh, related to what's it called. It's not steam controller. You're just bad at aiming. Yeah, I was hoping it was just steam controller related. Oh well. Well, guess we're gonna see a fight. Oh, gargoyles yeah. again. Yeah, I myself can't hear anything, so I'll take Chad's word for it. Well, the the clatter was coming from the the uh, card hitting something. Probably a wall. Yeah, it's for teleporting to the crystal. But he has to hit it. Let's uh, expedite this a little bit. Oh, they're immune to Earth. Well, shit. I should have known that a gargoyle was immune to Earth. Time for meat events. Yeah, my my PS2 came equipped with fast forwarding because I ain't dealing with this shit. There we go. Man, that's a that's a tight shot. The game is trying to teach you about elevation. Still trying to teach you things in the final chapter for some reason. Yeah, it's also uh, giving me an opportunity for prime time uh, scamming. Yeah, scamming. Doing a thing the game intends for you to do. They want me to refill my EC and gauge slowly this way? Yeah, I mean, why else would they put that pad there? I figure as a way to get back on the other side when you're done here. I mean, there, there's that, but they wouldn't have made it a white crystal if they didn't intend for you to teleport them. Oof. A little close there. Ah, damn it all. Yeah, this room seems like it might be a little annoying. And they changed the positions. <laughs> oh no, the positions don't change, they just respawn because I took the crystal. Yeah. Can't I just... hang on a second. Easy. I don't know why I was trying it the hard way. Now you're learning how to change crest. No, 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 no. 
Oh, wrong one, dude. Three step process. Hmm. Wait, wait. Wait, do I need a. I could probably stand to get some vitality. Oh, fuck. We got ambushed by, uh. these turnips with their hypnotizers. Can't seem to land a thing. Buck Baird. One point does the abyss open up? It's already open. I just don't feel like going there. Do I have thunder gems? I do. Is that thing not dead yet? I thought it had a thousand HP. There we go. That was an underwhelming fight. That's because it was a random encounter. Yeah. According to RPG Shrines, Jeff is the second highest damage dealer attack wise. Huh. Boss encounter. I mean, I'd say that Virginia does more, does more damage than Jeff does, but not by much. What the hell That's is this? Because she usually crits more though. Guess spent. Hey, isn't this a th isn't this a dude in Super Robot Wars as well? Maybe. So, um, this guy's undead. Oh, good. Uh, who has holy? I think Gallows does. No, Clive Someone does. Yeah, which means like all undead, um, like all undead, they are. Resistant to everything but fire and weak to light. It's a good thing I have 52 light gems. The game has some really interesting and weird uh, monster designs. Yeah, I like them. Screaming mad. I'm kind of surprised that we see the undead boss this late in the game. Yeah, I don't have anything to Mystic that would help out here. So I guess we're just going to dump all of our light gems that we farmed by mistake. Actually, I'm curious. Curious as to what? I'm just wondering how much the light summon does. Probably some good damage. <laughs> he keeps the laugh. Good. I like this. And since it's been a good long time since we've seen it, I'll let this play out. Eh, not bad damage. 
I think we did more though with just a volley of light gems. Yeah, I might have to swap out Jeff and Virginia's kit, because I'm pretty sure Jeff is, like, stupidly overpowered. Jeff may be a higher level. That too. But that, I just, I want to do that just, well, Virginia could get EXP up, but that could, like, change the difference. Yeah, this boss could, uh, this yeah, boss could... The funny, thing is, the funny thing is that it could be harder. He actually automatically heals any physical damage you do to him. Oh, so. no, it's Phantom Hazard. Please stop. He does have Phantom Hazard as well. It's not as bad as Baphomet's. So, yeah, normally he's supposed to be hard to kill. You just happen to have a fuck ton of light gems. Hmm. <laughs> After using 20 light gems, we got a light so, gem. I feel I should tell you, by the way, you could have one-shot him with Requiem. Oh, God damn it. I mean, I didn't want to spoil the fight for you. What was there to spoil? We just dumped 20 light gems on this doof. I mean, this is your one chance. Well, not your one chance. This is your one, one of the few chances to one-shot a boss without martial arts. Oh, and uh, Jeff's gonna try and have character. I'm just a rewriting machine. Oh. Wow. Kellis is just aggressively being a big brother to everyone. Maybe if everyone just told Jeff to stop being an asswipe. See, that's good. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. I never treat you like a machine. Shut the fuck up. So, right now, Gallows is having some rage against the machine. I do think Jeff has somewhat of a good point. Like, sure, these people have gone worked together, had good memories and stuff, but there's... There's no real motive for them sticking together. Yeah, there is. I mean, planet might be fucked up. You live here. That's a pretty damn good reason. Yeah. Everybody just works so weirdly well together. That's why I love this game. Everybody here fits together perfectly, and none of them make any fucking sense in their in their fucking builds or character, but it all works somehow. Ha! Oh wow, that's that's a jaw door. Okay, so... Radical sneakers. The most radical boots. I feel like I'm supposed to do something here, but I can't quite parse what. I mean, I could just go, actually. Maybe I come in from the side, and that's what they want. Because I can't really see teleportation gem working at all here. Alright, time for our three-step plan on destroying things. No, I don't want Jeff. Give me Gallows.
Wait, I gotta do it again? Ugh. Nope, fuck. They could have stand to make this process a little bit more streamlined. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is uh, just a walkway with some of the uh, behemoths from uh, from Dark Seed Two on it. Can I? I could probably make that jump. Got a gimmel coin. Power boost. Power boost, power boost. Increases physical attack when HP is low. Nice to have, but uh hmm. Our points are limited. Shoes! This is really fucking gross. Alright, easily done. Don't feel comfortable with any of this. Oh god, what? What happened to our cowboy anime, dude? Why is everything fucking gross as shit? Oh yeah, welcome to the main server, which also has teeth. This is all about the wisdom of Hiariza. Are we gonna have a boss fight with a server? Now you're just gonna have the IT crew come in here. Clive, no. Trust me when I say we should probably break this thing. Yeah. Now this is the first time we've seen Clive really have a problem in the game, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, what? Yeah, maybe we should break it before monsters, Clive. Oh. Damn it, I Clive. Get it, but and then yeah, yeah, then then a barrier. Oh yeah, she's basically saying here, thanks for making everything so much easier. Good job, you done goofed. Also, you killed Siegfried, so thanks for that. You've literally done everything I wanted you to do. She's been around for a hundred years, yes. Wait. Whoa. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, you remember when he said Asgard was a thing? He's a thing. Yep. So this is what you did, motherfucker. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna work, Asgard. Well, you do break the server. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, no, it works. He breaks the barrier and then punches the server. He's not trying to hit Beatrice, he's just trying to break the server. It's a shame Asgard will never become a party member because- Oh, what? I don't- No! I don't want to fight you! You were the last person I want to fight. Yeah, no, you really don't want to fight Asgard. He's gonna fuck you up, son. Oh, neat. I never noticed it before, but you can indeed see the little glowing in his eyes during the, uh, during a, uh, cutscene. Yep. Uh, so I don't want to fight him. So hmm. here's why Asgard's kind of one of my favorite characters. Uh, he knows full well 
that he doesn't have to fight you. There's no reason to fight you. And he hates the masters that he serves. He wants to help this planet as much as you do. But he's a golem, and he's built to serve. So he has to serve. Can we, like, reprogram him or something so he serves us? No. So we just gotta punch him a bunch, then? Punch a bunch. Also, we're gonna fuck you up, son. Because I'm pretty sure he has, like, fucking millions of years of experience to just, you know, trounce our ass. Also, yes, this is the last time we enjoy Jenna's Cascade Stolen Boss theme. Ow! Holy shit, dude. Yeah, Asgard ain't fucking around today. Well, neither am I. Because now it's time to bring the pain. Oh, wait, four dark gems to operate with? But hey, we got a weakness, we're exploiting it. I could also Mystic Full Carrot. If we really just want to fucking trivialize this. If you really need to, you do always have martial arts, that's true. But does Asgard really deserve martial arts? Wide barrier. Holy what? Yeah, I told you he's gonna fuck you up, son. He just has a straight up insta give now? Yep. Yeah, he's got auto kill moves. Can I edit Clive's kit? And yeah, I don't know myself. I wouldn't use the martial arts on him just because he's not a little asinine boss that doesn't have much effort. He, he was well put together. Yeah, he doesn't have straight up a uh, death deny. I have to guard to block that, and there's no tell for when he's just gonna go ape shit. So I'm just gonna have to react to the circumstances. Though a single a single barrier storm is just gonna level Clive. I have a dumb plan. Ooh, wow. The only reason Clive is alive is because of that. But now Jeff is out. Good. Hmm. I wonder. Damn, that shit hurts. So if I did this right, and I'm pretty and I'm pretty sure if I'm guessing this right, I'm do something real quick. Guard with him, guard with him, 
Extension heal. Yep, every other attack is a wide barrier, so if I guard right here, I should be fine. Back. Yeah, Asgard's back. I missed a lot of streams. He's back and he actually saved us this time by punching a barrier in half and also a server. And then decided, yo, I can only fight, let's fight. He went and spilled coffee on the demon server. Why can't we just leave Jeff behind and recruit him? Jeff obviously doesn't want to be here. Yeah, they're both golems. We can get the we can trade up on golems, right? Jeff's like a used car. Barrier flood. Oh, this is the I mean, This I is mean, the pain sure. move. I mean, sure. Asgard doesn't have a gun. He does not use guns. He just uses hands. But we can teach him. I mean, we have the Igret lamb. He could use that. You said the gun, yeah, Jeff, really, he, Jeff he, doesn't know how to use any other weapon other than the one that he was, the one he's using, because Virginia's dad is an idiot. This should be wide barrier. Yep. It's a plot gun. We can just use something else. A plot gun that has hidden abilities that some get any old arms uh, dealer can freaking. Upgrade. Yeah, I'm gonna use the thing to unlock his hidden potential. A guy just here, it can hold another bullet. I just put another slot in there for you. Ugh. Wow, Jeff's damage dropped significantly. Also, his life, probably. Yep. I'm just thinking, like, if everybody's in a dangerous situation and only Jeff can, like, help them, but, Jeff, but Jeff's out of ammo, but he's just surrounded by a bunch of guns that does have ammo. He just doesn't know what to do. This Jeff, is... just pick up the gun and shoot them. The what? This is an interesting fight. Like, I'm, I'm digging the mechanic. Easy to pick up on and, uh, work with. Oh! It wasn't gonna be a wide barrier. Huh. He just punched you and killed you instantly. Maybe he just feels like doing a different kind of barrier today. Like his fist? <clears throat> barrier yeah. knuckle is still a knuckle that's also a barrier. It's a barrier that he puts in front of his hand so he can punch you harder. Oh god, this might kill Virginia. Oh no, we're fine. I'm just expecting Wide Barrier to come and just nuke climbing Jeff. Extension hyper. Kind of need to speed this up a little bit. Is Barrier Flood a Demi? No, it just punches you. Someone, someone's just saying the arms of the amount of people is gene locking with worse. I can't believe Wild Arms was actually a sequel to MGS4. <laughs> the Phantom Arms. This uh, Virginia just goes, needs to drive in, drive in um, 
takes uh gel breaks the arms for her. Kinda need when to heal a lot of people. When do we get a jailbroken Tanagashima for a uh, clock? So get you tornadoes. Fairy Flood is indeed an HP haver. Halver. Haffer. What the fuck is pronunciation? Very old. Everybody eat your fruit. Uh, HP Heifer. He's, um, Rocco's friend. Just let Ka Gallows hit or just let Clive handle all the damage, even though he's the exact reason why we're having this problem. Damn it! It's a good thing Clive defended. Back to life, gets punched in the face again and dies. Well, it's a very vague punch in the face, but yes, basically. God, I wish I had more, like, Passive defenses against Fallen. I only got two right now. Yeah, you're gonna want to get a lot of those. The game tries to throw more of those at you at the end game. Yeah, if you defeat Asgard, you become friends with Asgard. Asgard adopts Trujillo as his newest child. Don't wide barrier, don't wide barrier, don't wide barrier, don't wide. Okay, good. Bunch of Jeffy killed him again. You see, he's a learning machine, and he's been watching your ass. Oh shit, Clive killed him. I shouldn't act as your master shield, but you don't have a master! Also, Asgard is pretty supremely cool. Yeah. There's a... Yeah, just have, just have him. Just take him into a party, then you, you'll have a master to protect. What's with the nemesis ass looking machine behind him? That's the server. Wow, fucking Asgard just straight up puts Jeff on the spot, like... Yeah, Jeff's last bit of character development in the game is Asgard telling him to grow the fuck up, essentially. The only reason you sit away from the crowd and act like a loner is because you're the one who chooses to do that, you stupid little turd. I can't believe Jeff's actual dad was Asgard. Dad's guard? Yes. You know, maybe you should just find your own reason to live instead of looking for one. Make your own up, it's not hard to do. <laughs> Chill. He gives him a stupid answer and Azure just punches him in the face. Chill out, I'm still in the party, Christ. I use this too. I've experienced far more disgust, shock, and anger than ever with these people. I was able to deal with.
I realized that not that not being a loner was actually pretty cool. It turns out being uh, not a loner, being a good person, is cool too. You didn't come here just to cheer me up. Or does act as a shield to protect my master. Uh, your master's dead. He knows. Oh, I see. So he wants to die so he can meet his... Wow, Asgard, you're pretty cool, but that's so stupid. He wants to go to hell so he can guard his master in hell. <laughs> However, imagine. he can't kill himself because of Robot's Prime Directives. So he came here because he knows that you'd kill him. <laughs> Wait, didn't he care to come here to fight us? That is correct. Punches um, Jeff in the face. And he says, I didn't throw the fight. You did really good. Good job, guys. See you later. Time to make you naughty. Become our friend. Man, I'm a little sad that Asgard's gone, but he was a cool character. He's the best character we talked about. I love him. <laughs> Unceremoniously, this Plops away, what the fuck? Well, he's just, you know, material, and he just lost all life force, so he just dissolved. No, he dissolves, but the way, like, he just did it, he's <laughs> like, oh, Gallows remain continuing to be the best person ever. <laughs> I'm not gonna shake hands with you. <laughs> it's like, I'm not gonna shake hands with you. Fuck you! You are! Quit being a bitch, punches him in the face. Far northeast of here. We yeah, you remember how she? You remember how she said one demon door pillar? There's more than one. Oh crap, Humphrey's Peak. So we're gonna end the stream like right about now, but I want to at least like get to Humphrey's Peak so I remember what the fuck to do next stream. Wait. Oh, you'll know when you get there. Don't worry. So let's uh, teleport forward to Humphrey Peak. So today we got character development for both Clive, not Clive, uh, for both Gallows and Jeff. Now they don't have to do any, pretty much anything else for the rest of the game. They've resolved themselves. Oh, hey, more plots appearing. Yep. We got time for a little bit of plot. This is a pretty good segment. Huge pillar of light to the southeast. Oh, it feels like demons. Yeah, sadly, this is the last time we see Asgard, but he was indeed a pretty cool dude. What's well, a strange feeling am I getting? It must be the cholesterol. And Clive's just like, I'm gonna go home. I mean, imagine he'd want to check in with his wife and kids to see if they're okay, but we'll see what happens at, Or should we see what happens now? You can if you want to. Uh, it's might time well. to get everybody back up to sea. Time to out-level out, out Clive. I mean, it would be weird to kind of leave with just three people in your party. Yeah, I figure might as well time resolve this and then uh, next time we just go straight to the dungeon. What's wrong? Are you sick? You're just sitting in a chair, looking at your lap. Uh, Clive, come on! My wife and child went grocery shopping without me. I hope your kid comes by and smacks you upside the head. Hmm. Like, I understand that all this monster stuff's happening, but... I mean, we need to save the planet, guys. We, we need to actually get around to doing that at some point, not you just, guys you guys know, don't understand, everything. I missed Taco Tuesday five times in a row. Although, by the way, can I say that now that Jeff has found a resolution to his story, he's going to start pushing on everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. You just need a reason to fight, guys. I learned that five minutes ago. It's great. I just need a reason to fight. You have a wife and child, you fucking moron. Dude. Yeah, a little. The entire time. That's why I'm hoping this kid just smacks him upside the head. Saying, I need to actually fix the world, and the only thing I can think of is, maybe he is. Maybe we should not unplug the modem. So, yeah. I guess you're just gonna sit at home and take a personal day. 
<laughs> See, everybody's running to each other. Clive, seriously, fucking, we kind of need your bullet. Like literally, your rifle. Time okay, for just, just the time one to bullet. Shine. Okay, so now we just have to find the dungeon. I mean, you might want to save here. Yeah, save and call it a day here, and then next time we'll yeah. find the dungeon. Yeah. Also, uh, you don't have Clive anymore. Enjoy that. Fuck. Ugh. It's gonna suck because you've been relying on him the whole game. Yeah. He's been like our damage engine the whole time, and I don't like this. You should have obviously. You should have made Virginia stronger. There's no way to, because she's much like a uh, Calamity Jane in a uh, Alter Code F. Her ex her main purpose is to fulfill the role of um, lunchbox, dole out items, act quick, do things fast. Increase her gun, make her critical to one, so she crits every shot. That is a good idea. And I just realized we have a lot of money we haven't spent. So, uh, next time we'll do that. See ya. What get this just to say, hey, you.